If you are a dog lover, then you've got to be around for this segment. Sandy Lampy's Pet Patrol is in the house with a very special guest this morning. Hi, Sandy. Good morning. One of the most recognized and well-respected dog trainers on the planet. Here to join us this morning, Victoria. Good morning to you. Hi, it's me or the dog. <laughs> Good Hi. morning, Victoria. Good morning. Welcome Thanks. to San Diego. Thank you. It's beautiful. Now, I'd like to speak on behalf of most of the dog owners in San Diego. Will you come home with us? Oh my gosh, if I could, I would live here. It's so beautiful. Now, I know you're going to be speaking at the Pet Expo this Sunday yep. at 1.30, and you're here for the Dog Trainers uh, Conference. Yes. But I think most of us want to know that you have had such an impact on the way we train our dogs and the way we feel about them and how they speak to us. Tell us about positive dog training. Okay. Traditionally, you know, we brought dogs up uh, for many, many years with this whole kind of human dominance animal submission methodology whereby you're teaching the dog how to live in society, but you're using punitive methods. You're telling the dog what not to do rather than giving it constructive training, teaching. And what positive reinforcement is all about is it's really developing Instead of a relationship of domination, it's a relationship of cooperation. So getting your dog to respond to you because it wants to, not because it fears what's going to happen to it if it doesn't. And well, you now, said, you excuse said, me, but the dominance training does work, right? But well, on a very... The, yes, I mean, if you, if you hold a fist up to me and say, you better do this, then... Right. Yeah, I'm probably going to respond because I'm going to fear you. But how is that relationship? Am I going to trust you? Am I going to like being with you? Or is this going to be a relationship based on fear? I don't want a relationship based on fear with my dog. I want a relationship based where my dog loves being with me because I motivate that dog. And I allow it to learn how to live in this weird domestic human environment that they've got to live in. So it's dog talk. It's absolutely dog talk. It's recognizing what our dog needs to be successful living with us and making it as easy as possible with them to do so. I have a question, if you don't mind. Yes. You said that Daphne's two years old. And I have a dog about that age. Is it a certain age where it's too late to teach these behaviors or to reinforce them? It doesn't matter how old you, they are. Look, I, I say start at eight weeks. Start as soon as you get your puppy because uh -huh. that's when the brain is like a sponge and they're learning. Right. Um, but yes, you can train an old dog new tricks. They just <laughs> learn a little slower. But certainly, Daphne at the age of two, you know, she's had a few behavior problems. She's much better now. Um, and what I'm using here with her is, is a motivator, is food, that focus. And you don't always have to use food as reward. You use toys or praise or play or walk or anything. But um, it really gets her to love learning. Now, um, you have put together a network of trainers, expert trainers. Yes. Um, you have two in San Diego. One yeah. of them is Linda Michaels, who we're going to introduce in a minute. Yes. She's a dog psychologist, yes. which she has her own category there. <laughs> <laughs> and Linda? Come on over here on camera. We're going to see, um, we're going to get a dog training tip. Yes. And this is Otis the Labrador. What a cutie pie. He's a puppy. So Linda, what, what, what is great is you can see that Linda's actually um, working with Otis here, and, but, but really not saying anything to him because Otis is responding to her body language and to hand signals. And that's what I really love. Look, our dogs watch us more than they listen to us. So you can actually have a great relationship and you can communicate with your dog literally by hand signals alone. And when you teach your dog how to do that, you have a dog that responds to you. But this is, hasn't been done with punitive means. This has been done with absolute reward and motivation. And that's why, you know, Linda Michaels is one of uh, a fantastic trainer here in San Diego. We've also got another trainer called Judy Schmidt. Go to my website, positively.com. You'll be able to find the trainers here. Go with them because they use positive reinforcement. Well, thank you so much and beautiful dogs today. Thank you. Uh, yeah, because this is very clever, and I actually have been doing this with my dog, but I didn't know I was doing such a great thing. These are your new tapes, Yes. and talk about them, because it's very unusual. Well, it's the first um, CD ever to come out that marries psychoacoustic music with sounds that dogs find scary. And, and where can we get these? You can get these online at my, by going to my website at positively.com. Okay. 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 Victoria, thank you. It's thank such an you. honor to have you, you here. Thank you. We are so thrilled Appreciate that you it. came. And thank you. Have a wonderful uh, trip, uh, excuse me, have a wonderful speech. Thank this you. Sunday, the Pet Expo, the Del Mar Fairgrounds at 1.30. Come there. and see Victoria. Wonderful. Thank you. And thank, thank you, you, Linda and Daphne and, and everyone. It's been fun.